Hi, my name is Mark, and this is Permanent Records for Mark. This is going to be my weekly show where I talk about records, collecting records, music, and whatever tickles my fancy musically. This is where I like to come in and talk to you about music and let everyone know what's going on, what I like to listen to, and what's coming out on vinyl. Not, not be said, um, my, a little bit of my background. I have a passion for music. Ever since I was a little kid, I've always loved music. I can sit down and talk for hours about music, rock and roll, collecting records, what have you. And I figured this would be the best form for that, for me to talk about music and records. I have a passion for music. I've been listening to music ever since I was a little kid. And the first thing that ever really got me into music was this album right here, Destroyers by Kiss. This was my first album I ever had, Destroyer. It's a great album, probably one of the best albums of the 70s, if not the best album in Kiss catalog. I love this album, it's a great album. Kiss will always have a place in my heart. This is a great album, it has such classics like Detroit Rock City, my favorite, God of Thunder. Plus, it took a big shift for them when they put out songs like Beth and Great Expectations. It opened them up to a wider audience. This is probably, like I said, one of their best albums. My only issue nowadays with KISS is KISS is more of a brand now than a band. I think they treat their fans like customers, and I think Gene Simmons has really become the old curmudgeon of rock and roll. I mean, you know, the thing with him not letting Ace Frehley and Peter Chris play in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, the thing with, you know, him, oh, that hip-hop music, it's going to end soon, it's going to implode, or, oh, <clears throat> oh, them misfits, them misfits are ripping off our merchandise and idea, they're just stealing from us, oh, they're no good, oh, you kids get off my lawn. Yeah, he's really becoming the old curmudgeon of rock and roll. But with that being said, even though that... Kiss will always have a place in my heart, and I'll always love them. Um, I, and I'll always love this album. It reminds me about when my dad got it for me the first day, and I just listen to it over and over and over again. This is probably the third copy I've ever had on vinyl of this, because I just wore these records out. So, what do you think? You like Kiss? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. Thank you, and enjoy.